Good morning, world. I am Judy, your web-based therapist, making therapy accessible and convenient for our clients in Florida and New York, and of course, sharing information worldwide. Today, I want to talk about five reasons we need to get rid of or we need to do away with the myth of the strong Black woman. Be um, many of us already know the, the, what the... Um, what we what I mean when I talk about the strong black woman and it's this idea that we can or have to do everything by ourselves we know we can do bad all by ourselves we're taking on the world because we've been told that we have to be the strong black woman but uh so today we're talking about five reasons we need to get rid of that because it's killing us first is we're giving society a pass on being there for us as the strong black woman, we are expected to be there for friends, we're expected to be there for family, we're expected to be there for the black men, we're expected to be there for employers, for, for colleagues, we're expected to be there for everybody. And everyone is sitting there relying on the strong black woman because we have said that we are the strong black woman, we got this, we can do this. But at the end of the day, we're giving society a pass on being there for us. Because while we're sitting there taking care of everyone and being there for everybody, who is, we don't, there, there's not enough of us left to take care of ourselves and no one else is taking care of us because, you know, we're the strong black woman. We got it. We, we can do this. We don't need anything. But the truth is we do. We need, we need our, we need our families. We need our friends. We need people to be there for us. We need people to take care of us. We need people to help us. But because we're busy being the strong black woman, we're not taking advantage of that and we're allowed. And society, of course, is more than happy to just let us be the strong black woman because that gives them the okay to not be there and not hold their side, not hold up their side of the bargain of, because we're being there for them, but they're not being there for us too. We're giving girls a false idea of what strength is. When you say, hey, the strong black woman does this, the strong black woman is capable of the strong. Yes, we are very strong. We're very powerful. We're capable. I mean. We are strong. We are indeed very strong. But when you start giving, when you start putting up this idea that you have to do everything by yourself, you have to be the one who does it, you have to, you don't need anyone, you don't need anything. You're telling girls that, hey, you have to get up and you have to grow up and be this person who's going to be doing it all by, by yourself. No, that's what the rest of that's why we live in a society. That's why we live in communities because we need one another. You have to, when you're so busy trying to be the strong black woman who can do it all by yourself, in addition to the damage that you're doing to yourself, you're doing a, a great damage to girls that are coming up and seeing that, hey, this is what it means to be a strong black woman. So as we, the, as this first generation is, moving for moving on and this next generation is coming up we are training them to be the next version or the next generation of strong black women but we're giving that we're having them be the strong black women who are pretty much dying because we're un we're not taking care of ourselves and nobody else is taking care of us because you know we're the strong black woman three we're invalidating the experience of those who struggle because the idea of the strong black woman is that, you know, we got this, we can do this, we can do anything, we can do everything, we don't need anyone, we don't need anything. So when other people, when we see people struggle, when we see others, especially including black women, we're telling those people that, hey, you don't have a right, you're not supposed to, you're not able, you should not be struggling. But that's not the way it is. Life has struggles. Some people experience some people stumble. Some people experience hardship. Some people have situations where they need other people. And when we push this idea of what the strong black woman is, a lot of times we're telling those people who are not in that position, who need the help or who reach out to the to get the help that you, they need, because we all need the help. It's just that some of us get it and some of us are too busy pretending we don't need it to get the help. So we're when we're pushing this idea that of what the strong black woman is, sometimes we are invalidating the experience of the people who are not there, of the people who have it, who face troubles, who face issues, who are struggling. And we're telling them, hey, you can't, you should not be struggling. And therefore, because you should not be there, you are not able to ask for help because you should not be needing help. So let's not do that.
Four, we're depriving ourselves of the help we need. We're so busy trying to be everything, trying to be the one, trying to be the biggest, the baddest, the strongest, the, the most capable, that we are depriving ourselves of the help that we need. We have partners, we have, fa we have families, we have communities, we have resources, we have a, there is help out there. But because we're too busy being the strong black woman, sometimes we're not taking advantage of that help. We're depriving ourselves of the help that we need because we're telling ourselves that we should not or that we cannot need help. And that is not true. We're human. We all need help. We all need a community. We all need support once in a while. So if um, being the strong black woman is depriving us of the ability to get that help, finally, it's killing us. It's killing us. Trying to be everything to everyone, trying to do everything all the time and being the one and take we're taking on more than our fair. We're forcing ourselves to take on more than our fair share. And while we're doing that, it's killing us because we don't have we're not having enough time for self-care. We're not sleeping well. We're not we're not eating as well as we should be. And as we do, as we are focused on being, hey, the strong black woman, we're neglecting our we're neglecting ourselves. And that's leading to a lot of health issues. Uh, black women's health is, you know, it's up and down. Once in a while, every now and then they, you get the, the latest res um, research that say, hey, you increase in this in black women, increase in that in black women. And a lot of it is because we're not investing in us. We're not investing in our self-care. We're not invest investing in our mental health. We're not using the resources available to us. So if we start use, utilizing resources, if we start use, utilizing our communities, if we start just stop trying to be everything to everybody, that way we can just take a minute and help, our own, help ourselves or let someone else help us because having everything on our shoulders, having everything on our backs is weighing, is weighing us down. It is killing us. It's increasing our stress levels. It's in, it's increasing health issues that we're facing. It's, a, it's not giving us time to deal with the health issues after they present. So yeah, we need to stop trying to be the strong black woman and just be a regular human person who is, who's human and needs help sometimes and has a community that's behind us, that's with us, that's able to help us and let those, all those people that we're doing for it, allow them the opportunity to return the favor and do for us. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. One, we're giving society a very, very easy pass on having to be there for us because we're too busy doing everything for everyone else and we don't need help, right? No, we do. Two, we're giving girls a false idea of what strength is because strength is not having to, is not doing everything by yourself. Strength is being even being able to reach out and say, hey, I need help. That is strength. Three, we're invalidating the experiences of people who struggle because people do struggle. And when we're telling them, hey, you can't struggle and this is not a valid experience, we're making it difficult for them to get the help that they need. Four, we're, we're depriving ourselves of the help that we need. Because if we're so, when we're so busy trying to be the one and being the biggest, the most, the strongest and not needing everyone, we don't have time or we're not allowing ourselves, we're not giving ourselves the permission to get help that we need because we need the help. It doesn't matter what you say. We all need it sometimes. And finally, it's killing us. Trying to do everything, trying to be everything to everyone else is adding to our stress level. It's causing health issues. It's causing um, issues in our relationships. It's just, it's killing us. So we need to stop trying to be the, black, the strong black woman. We can just be strong. We can just be women. We can be human, but we don't have to be the everything to everyone else because that's why we live in communities. As always, if you or someone you know happens to be going through something that's more than you can handle, please remember that even right now when things are so chaotic, there are professionals like myself who are available, able, and willing and are even providing remote services to assist if you have something going on. So please figure out who those people are in your community so that if you need the help, you can reach out and get the help that you need. And that is all we have for today. Good morning, world. Have an awesome day.